So, I was originally going to bring you something completely different, but um, 12 hours ago, something utterly ludicrous happened. Britain decided to leave the European Union. Probably aware of it if you live on planet Earth. And I've been trying to process this information for the past 12, well, close to 15 hours. The main thing that Vote Leave had going for them was to take back control. The Labour leadership is having a vote of no confidence. Our Prime Minister has resigned. Our currency is currently in free fall. Scotland and Ireland are currently talking about leaving the United Kingdom and in an attempt to rejoin Europe. And Europe is basically saying, we're not gonna give you any leeway with this. Fuck off now. Here's the control, guys. The lies are already showing themselves. Uh, the 350 million pounds thing, uh, that's, that's come to the forefront. Here's the thing, we knew that was a lie almost a month before this vote, and people still went with it. Uh, so now Nigel Farage has gone on national telly and basically said, yeah, that was a lie. Lol. Too late now, isn't it? There are talks of a potential second EU referendum already because of the close margins of it. I know that it's already been put on the government website and the government has to respond to that. The Chancellor, George Osborne, is currently talking with the G7 and he's talking with the Bank of England as well. They're very carefully monitoring the fiscal situation of this. Um, the pound is in a lot, a lot of trouble at the minute. How does something this monumentally self-destructive happen? There's been talk of a while about, you know, the British public is not qualified to decide this. Seeing fairly strong evidence of that at the moment. This is absurd. Um, and I almost get the feeling that, like, a lot of the people who voted leave have no conception of what they have actually voted for. I'd imagine a lot of all they have to say is, oh, we have to take control of our borders, we can't let the blacks in. I will say this as well, the Remain side of things, they didn't do a very good job of convincing people. They weren't very emphatic about the whole thing, about the benefits of the EU, about the membership and all the rest of it. They kind of just, I think they did what a lot of the Remain side have done, have just been like, it's a foregone conclusion that people are gonna vote for common sense. I am already getting sick of politicians saying UK has decided to take back their but No, they haven't. England has decided to be liberated. Scotland did not want this at all. Like, unilaterally did not want this. Uh, Northern Ireland as well did not want this. Wales and England they were the ones who wanted this. Now that we are voting to leave the EU, we are no longer covered by the uh, EU Bill of Rights, which, by the way, we helped to write. Britain will basically now have its own Bill of Rights, uh, Bill of Rights and Responsibilities for British People. And even though it may go through the same kind of things, it may, for all intents and purposes, be a carbon copy of the EU one. No sitting government can lock any particular legislation or any particular laws or legal ramifications of that for the future government, so they can just change whatever they like. I'm a minority. I'm a minority because I like men and not women which is a ridiculous reason to be a minority, but I am one. As a consequence, it means that I get treated differently. I don't have the same rights as other people. Basically, the long and short of this is, if we get a far-right government, my rights as human, gone. You have no stability. You, that's no way to live your life if your status as a person changes every two minutes based on somebody's opinion. And it doesn't just stop there. It's people of minority races, it's women as well. Like, you know, because they've not had a shit time in history. All of that is what we just said we wanted.